also Stacey Woods here, and I'm here answering your questions. I want to get right into it. A subscriber wrote this question. He said, hey, I have a question for you. What's wrong with Christian dating non-Christians? What's wrong with Christians dating non-Christians? My pastor said that it's wrong for a saved person to date someone who is not saved. I don't understand why not. But for me, I know that I'm saved and baptized in the Holy Spirit. But my concern is, will I lose some power in the Spirit of the Lord? Will the Holy Spirit leave me and will the presence of the Lord leave? Because there is this girl at my job that I like and we both agree to date. But the problem is, she is not saved. So what's the best thing for me to do? Because it's not easy for me. Listen, first of all, I want you to have more faith in your leadership. You said that your pastor said it's not good. I believe that God gives us leaders after his own heart. And although there are some who lead the flock astray, there are many. And the, the number far outweighs the bad of those who really want to see the best for us. And so I would have to agree here with your pastor. Not just because it's your pastor, but because of the word of God. The Bible says don't be unequally yoked. Which means we need to be in relationship, meaning friendship, any kind of relationship, with those that we share common interest with. Now, we can be cordial. We can have casual relationships with people as far as being um, pleasant, you know, when they speak. And even um, having certain level of friendship with those that do not believe as we do. However, you're going to run into a conflict uh, if you're seeking um, someone as far as a romantic relationship and you all don't necessarily believe the same things. Now, there are, um, are certain individuals who, through other through circumstances, you know, that they uh, did not see when they first met the person. Well, you'll have a person of another faith married to a person of the opposite faith or another faith. Um, there are people even in ministry who, and I actually met someone who... She was a Christian, uh, an apostle of the Lord, and her husband was Muslim. Uh, why? Because they met before both of them, uh, you know, before she uh, actually got into the ministry. And I don't want to ramble on, but there are situations and cases in which people have learned how to make it work. However, entering into a new relationship, I would not suggest that. God wants his best for us, and he says that he wants our whole family serving the Lord. As for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. And as a young person who is saved and filled with the Holy Ghost, you want to connect with someone who shares those same convictions, uh, who shares those uh, same uh, beliefs with you. You want to marry someone that's saved and sanctified and filled with the Holy Ghost. What about the young lady who's waiting on God uh, to be married and who is keeping herself pure and holy and allowing God to keep her body pure and allowing God to purify her spirit and waiting on that man of God who will come, amen, and find interest in her and take her as his wife. What about her? Why would you go to a non-believer? Is it because she's pretty or what is it? What is it? So I challenge you to think deeply about why it is that you feel like you want to date. Now, I'm going to use a term here. This is, uh, a t there's a term called missionary dating. Missionary dating. Hmm. Missionary dating is when a Christian dates a non-believer with the belief that they are going to win them to Christ. Well, I know I'm strong with the Lord, so it's okay if they don't believe. I'll win them to Christ. Hmm. I'll say to you, it will be better if you allow the Lord to deal with that person. Before you get romantically involved. There are co-workers on my job. There are 
men who approach me, I feel like I still, amen. But I have to remember my calling. I have to remember my conviction. Remember my purpose for being in the earth. And I got to tell that brother sometimes, no matter how cute he is, no matter how handsome he is, Apostle Stacy had to tell that brother, listen, I'm a preacher of the gospel. I'm saved. I am sanctified. And my body belongs to God. I'm waiting on Jesus. And I'm going to need my husband to be saved and sanctified and filled with the Holy Ghost, waiting on Jesus like me, so we can wait on Him together. So there will be no temptation to do anything that is ungodly, anything that will compromise my relationship with God. Okay? And so if I'm waiting, you can wait. Amen. I know it may not be easy all the time, but God has someone for you. And when it is the will of God, he will allow you to meet that person. But until then, refrain. Uh, don't, don't, don't just date the unbeliever because it's a temporary good idea. Wait on God and he'll bless you, okay? So that's my answer to that question. And I pray that that has blessed you.